oh my god it's been so long since i filmed <sighs> i'm so happy to be back i'm this is actually quite late it's eight in the evening but it's the light because it's sweden and it's summer dark in winter light in the summer i'm just gonna do a get ready with me this is the first video that i'm filming after being home from my vacations i missed you i really did i missed filming i missed talking to you i missed my beauty room i missed like all of my makeup and I'm gonna use some of the new things that I either bought or got when I was in US the haul for my US my US haul I'm gonna film this after this so that should already be live and I will leave that down in the description box or maybe even up here if I remember so you can have a peek at what things I bought and I can talk a bit more about why I own these things that I'm gonna show you in this video. If I forgot to mention anything, I will put all the details of what I'm using down below. I'm gonna chat a bit about my vacation and like the rest of my vacation and stuff like that. I'm using the uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Til Tilbury. Tilbury, it's Bury, right? Uh, this is in light medium, number three. Uh, I did, uh, this is a primer or a foundation that you can use like on its own as well. I do, I have to say, this like doe foot doesn't pick up enough product, which is very like annoying. Cause I wanna, I wanna like wear more than it allows me. I'm just gonna buff this in with a sponge. Oh, I didn't bring any concealer. I did wear this uh, when I was in LA cause I bought this when I was shopping with Karen. I think, or did I buy this when I was on my own? I don't really know. I think I bought this when I was shopping with Karen. I'm pretty sure of it. I will try and remember to leave um, the vlog as well down below if you want to have a peek. And I wanted to buy a like glowy, like light coverage foundation. And I've heard that this one that is a primer or a foundation um, could be used like as a foundation as well. It's meant to be like a primer and or a foundation And I have to say it looks beautiful once you put it on. It's very glowy, but not like greasy on the skin But it's very low coverage, but it didn't like hold up on me in the LA heat for a whole day uh, So I'm gonna try it now until I go to bed and see because I'm gonna go to bed late I already know that <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna tell you why in a bit. So I'm gonna see if this works better so I can give you a more proper review because I do have very normal skin and I will say that in a very hot environment, I do get a bit oily around my nose and on my, it's called chin. Yeah, I think so. And this one, it looked a bit weird um, after a couple of hours when it was too hot outside on me. So I'm gonna try it a bit more. I need a, I need a concealer, one second. I'm gonna try and do something more easy. Is this, am I back in focus? I hope so. I'm gonna use the uh, uh, Tarte Shape Tape. I have mine in light sand and I'm not gonna set it because this is what I usually do when I wanna do something more like low maintenance. I don't set my uh, shape tape. I, I was in US for two weeks, um, I think, per like I think 15 days if you count the traveling time as well but oh my god I've had such a good time I never thought that I'd be able to meet all these like amazing amazing people and to know that they are out there in real life and to be able to meet them it was absolutely amazing it was so much fun I, I can't believe how how much fun it was and it was like they looked exactly in real life as they did on on like YouTube and they were just as nice, just as cool and it it really made me feel like, you know what, people are, at least <laughs> the people that I tend to like on the internet, they are the way they are, <laughs> they are the way they are online in real life as well. And for me, that was good to know, like I needed to know that and it was, oh my so amazing, it was so much fun. There's gonna be two more vlogs that's gonna come up, I think, after this. I think it's gonna come up after this. And honestly, it's been the best experience ever. I I cannot wait to meet them again. I cannot wait to meet more people. I'm just I'm so, 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 so excited. It's, it's beyond exciting. Do you wanna do my brows? I think I'm gonna do my brows. You know what, I'll do my brows and I'll come back. Uh, I do have a brow routine. I will leave it down below 
in the, in the description box. I'm doing my brows the exact same way. I'm using the same product. Nothing's nothing's changed. I'm just gonna do my brows and I'll be back and we can use some of the new like cheap products that I that I brought with me. Oh my god, I'm so excited to dig into this because this is this one isn't the first impression, this is like a second impression, but the other things I haven't even swatched. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have some eyebrows on, and this is how I do. I still haven't used any powder, I just use my sponge, and I just tap out the creases when they appear in the concealer until it's completely dry, and then usually I don't have any problems with creasing. I also did put on some eye primer, I'm still using the Sigma one, I think it's super good. Let me do some bronzer. I got this bronzer from Karen Harris. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Queensland. And I haven't tried this. Let me see if I can open this one. Wet n Wild things can be so hard to open. This seems a bit warm and I like a warm bronzer. It's a bit dark as well. I don't know if it's this the, the darkest one. I don't really know. So let me see if I can get this one to be like on my face and uh, what was I talking about oh yeah uh, US so I uh, we had decided to go on this trip for so quite some time and I did have some time to just like decide which ones I wanted to meet and where and there were more people that I wanted to meet but just didn't have time or our like roads didn't like meet in the best way possible but just know that I had the most fun ever i really did i did do a little shopping as well not that much especially not that much makeup i did buy some clothes uh, as you would have seen in the in the haul and it was really nice to like just buy something if i wanted to i didn't buy any eyeshadow though like i said i wouldn't um so i did buy some things outside of my little buy because uh, you said it was okay um, and I also felt myself that I've been doing so good at not buying like cheap products and complexion products and that's why I just bought that and I mean I do feel like vacation is vacation even from things like that and I, I really did not go wild so as you would have seen in my in my little haul thing this is a this is a nice nice bronzer I also went to two amusement parks and of course, well, the amusement park in um, well, Scandinavia, which is not really an amusement park, it just is some rides inside inside the mall, which is pretty fun. I like when they do combos like that, I, I think it's really fun. And we did go on some rides there and then we went to Six Flags, me and my fiancé, and we also went to Disneyland. Why is my computer being super stupid. I, I hate this computer, I really do. This is my old laptop, I'm just using it as a monitor, but I actually, I honestly hate it, it's so, so horrible. Anyways, we went to Disney and Six Flags, and I will say, I mean, Disney is beautiful, Disney is perfect, but if you're into the rides and you wanna go on rides, you need to go to Six Flags and not Disney. Don't, don't like, don't shoot me, but the rides on Disney, they aren't that good. You go there to watch, to watch the park, to see how pretty the park is. I think I like this. I don't know if it looks on camera, but in real life it looks really toasty and yummy. But the rides on Six Flags were so good. You're gonna see it in an upcoming vlog. It was so good. I was gonna use, I bought one of the Color Effects brushes. I know, I, I could have bought these, um, but I couldn't have bought them in store in Sweden. It was so amazing to be able to swatch them and actually see which one I wanted because on the website they all look alike. So I got the Pink Dahlia one. I thought that one looked like it would be most, most me. But I've had like the most amazing vacation. Maybe that's just what I wanted to say. And I'm in, so, ooh, I'm in such a good mood, but I'm also like so jet lagged this morning. Do I want to call it morning? <sighs> this night, <laughs> I couldn't, I wasn't tired, so we were up playing. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, and we played until like half past one, like one, like in the evening, in the night, night time, 1 a.m. past half past. <sighs> Struggling. This is so much more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Which is, I mean, a good thing, but I, I got really rosy cheeks now. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I shouldn't, should not do that. That that could be a good thing. 
Um, and then I woke me, both me and my fiance, we woke up at four. And we were so like, and it was light in Sweden because it's light in Sweden at that time. And both of us, none of us could like fall asleep. So we just went up, had some coffee and started playing again. Uh, and then at eight, I actually went to bed again and then I slept until two. So I'm hoping that tonight I will be able to go to bed earlier and sleep longer. I'm trying to like turn this thing around because uh, that's just too much. It's too much, it's too much. I can't, I can't deal with that. I mean, I'm lucky that I'm on vacation, so it doesn't matter. I also bought this one. Also because I could swatch them. And I, I didn't want to just buy it and because I feel like it's hard. People don't really dare to say when like influencer things aren't good. So I wanted to see it in real life so that I could see if it's actually something for me. And I will say it swatches beautifully. And I bought it again at the Morphe store together with Karen and she's used it and said it's really good. So this packaging is so beautiful though and it's swatched so nice. So I'm hoping that this jet light thing will be holding the, the brush will be over like I'm hoping tomorrow, but if I seem a bit off, that's why. This is in, I bought mine in Mars. Marsh, Mars, Mars. <laughs> it was really interesting though to only speak English for a while because like we met so many people that was not that many times when like, for like a whole day when me and my fiance only spoke Swedish. So it was, it was really nice to speak a lot of English like and now you see I'm already struggling, but it was it was it was nice to practice a bit more. This is really pretty. It's so nice to be able to swatch things before you buy them because like sometimes you don't know. And these like influencer brands, people don't really dare to say when they suck, unless it's by Jacqueline Hill, because then everybody's talk like <laughs> everyone's speaking up. But this is actually really pretty and it's looking really nice on the skin maybe it's borderline too light like the sheen is too light now that i have a little bit of a tan but i still feel like i can get away with it i'm looking really peachy and nice you know what i like it's not as cream like it's not really a creamy highlighter it's more powdery but it looks and blends into the skin really nice do you know what i mean it's more like the ofra highlighters although i will say that this is not as sheeny as that one which could be a good thing i really like the peach thing though i'm gonna use just a bit of the pixie glow mist hey i feel like i needed that that was really nice let me see if i can just do a bit on my primer but yeah bit jet lag but the vacation was amazing everything was just as good as as i wanted it to be it, it's been it's been totally amazing i wanted to buy a new bag but i couldn't find the bag that i wanted let me pop off a, a picture of the bag that i'm thinking about buying and i couldn't find it anywhere i think it's like really limited edition though i might like order it online instead um, and that is something that I wanted to buy while on vacation, but I couldn't find it. But maybe just as good because now I have the money still from bank account to still. Instead, I got this from Karen Harris. She gave me this. She said that I needed to try Auntie Pat. So now I am. Thank you so much, Karen. This was so unexpected. I am so grateful and humbled to be able to have a friend like you. I'm already plotting what kind of gift I can give to you because I got her some chocolate and like lipsticks and she got me this and a couple of other things like we are not in the same ball league so ballpark ball league? ballpark <laughs> but I'm so grateful that she got me this one and she got me ooh, papers are falling out she got me exactly the one that I've actually been looking at this is the Mothership 3 Subversive this is the one that I've actually been looking at and if I ever were to buy one of these palettes it would have been this one it's 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 absolutely stunning. It, it really is pretty. It's a bit neutral and that's the reason why I haven't bought it But I'm super excited to be able to try it. So this will be a first impression of this palette. Should I just get rid of some of these? I am so excited. What do I want to do? I mean this brown pretty much has to go in the crease. Do does it does it really have to though Angie? Do you need to have Maybe I don't. I haven't touched it. I don't know anything about it. This is the Sigma E25. 
and I am gonna clean it a bit and I'm gonna use the matte brown just a little bit in my crease. I have no idea what I'm doing, which could be fun to be fair. Okay, I'm just gonna put some of these colors on and that's, that's gonna be, that's gonna be it, I think. Have you ever been to any of the amusement parks in LA? Like, or maybe like in US all over? We didn't go to the, we wanted to go, but we ended up not going. Maybe I should zoom in a bit. So I can have the mirror a bit closer. Uh, we wanted to go to the Universal one, but then we ended up not going because we didn't really have a good day where we wanted to go. And we also felt like maybe two amusement parks was enough. And I'm so happy we went to the um, the one that we did go to, like the, the Disney, because I feel like Disney is such like an icon. It's it's really nice to have gone, and also to the Six Flags because uh, if you ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon, you know that they had a collaboration with Six Flags, so you could play the parks in the game, and I did, and it was so amazing to see it in real life. The rides were so cool and intense and if you are into rides you definitely definitely need to go there it was oh my god it was such a good day i feel like it blends out really nice but still personally like it's it's still like it's still a a brown matte but it, it, it is a nice, it is a nice color, it is. Okay, so what have I been doing since I came home? Because when I'm filming this, it's Wednesday. Uh, I wanted to film earlier today, but I'll be honest, I've been so into this new uh, play mode, like the new game that's in League of Legends, the, the Team Fighter. I'm obsessed. I am, I am obsessed. I can't stop playing it. I think it's so good. I literally want to do nothing else but play that. So if the, <laughs> if I end up not uploading any videos at all for a while, it's because I'm playing that. Oh my god, it's so much fun. It's, it's literally the most fun game I've played in, and the most addictive game I've played in a really long time. So if you are playing, I'm playing on E West. If you are playing EUS and you are playing the team builder one, like, uh, let me know. Put put your, like, what is it? It's not called Battle Tag in League of Legends. Like, your username, and I'll add you and we can play the team builder together. Like I said, I'm playing on EUS. I'm not very good, but I think it's so much fun. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Me and my fiance have played all day today, except when I was sleeping, and all, like, night yesterday and oh my god it's so much fun I, I honestly cannot remember the last time I was this like addicted to a game I, mean, I don't want to say addicted but like I'm trying to find a better word because I'm not addicted but like this mesmerized smitten by a game not wanting to do anything else but play the game like I don't want to do anything else honestly I just want to play the game well, that's pretty. Let me see if I can. I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any creases because I don't want to set the creases with like brown eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use a bit under my eyes as well. I'm gonna do not a very precise look. I'm just gonna do something more easy. It is a really nice eyeshadow though. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of the black as well, because there is a black here. I'm just gonna smoke this out a bit. I still haven't played the new expansion in WoW either. Um, I feel like I'm saving it to a time where I have time. Because I, I just, because I'm not gonna be have time to like raid or anything. I'm just gonna like play it. Am I in focus? I hope so. I'm just gonna like play it through. And that's probably going to be it, so I want to save it for an opportunity where I really have the time for it. But now it's got been such a long time since it was released, so I'm just like, am I ever? Maybe this will be the expansion I don't play, like, at all. How is this? Maybe that's okay? Is that okay? I hope so. 
Ugh. I'm sitting in the most weird, awkward, awkward way. I hope I am in focus. I think I am. Okay, I'm gonna use some of the shadow, like this shimmer shadows now, and I think I'm gonna spray my brush. Do I need to? I think I'm gonna do that. I'll start, yeah, I think I need to do that, just to be sure. I'm starting with the shimmery, like the black one. I'm just gonna put that in my colors. Let me see if I can just spray this a little bit. Because I don't wanna have any fallout now, especially, especially since I haven't set anything with powder. Just gonna put this out here. Like the outer half of the of the eye. I don't know how I feel about the shimmery black, but that's pretty okay, I guess. I mean it's a shimmery black. It's not that exciting. I'm so sorry. And I also got some of the shimmer particles up in my crease now, but such is life. Now I'm taking the blue one. I feel like this one is a bit more interesting. It's like a blue-purple thing. I'm gonna also spray my... Spray it a bit, and I'm just gonna put this... Oh, see? That's nice. This reminds me of the shadow and the... Like the ones that Kaleidos Cosmetics does. They look a bit like this. I mean, that's really pretty. It, it, it really is. So I'm gonna use the purple one now. Let me, let me show you which ones I've used. So I've used this black one here and then this blue one here and now I'm using this purple and I'm gonna try and see if I can put that under my eyes. I mean, this is really pretty. I totally see why people really like this. I do. Is it the most unique thing I've ever had on my eyes? I don't know about that, but it is really pretty. It, it really is. And I didn't have any problems with any shades. The black one is a tiny bit patchy, but so is most black, so they don't really bother me that much. This is a, like a pink duochrome. I'm gonna use that in my inner eyes. I'm also gonna drape that a bit like over the other ones. It's like, I think it's meant to be like a transformer shade, so I'm gonna use it as that. It's very flaky. Maybe I need some glitter glue with this. This pink is really hard to pick up on the brush. Maybe you're supposed to do it with your finger. It reminds me a lot of Sweet Tooth by Luxy, but Sweet Tooth is easier to pick up on the brush. It is a pink glittery duochrome. It's really pretty, but it's not the easiest to work with. But maybe not, that's like not the end of the world. Okay. I'm just gonna do my lips, I think. Let me get my lip liner. Because I bought one lipstick in US. I bought the uh, Murumuru Butter Lipstick in Soaking Up the Sun by Physicians Formula. It's one of those glossy stick formulas that I really love and I saw them in stores. So I decided to get, oops, one of the more neutral ones. Ooh, I'm gonna use uh, a lip liner by Colourpop. This is uh, Aquarius. I have used this a couple of times though in the US because I thought it was so pretty. It smells really good. It doesn't taste that good though. And the wear time of this is like not that long. But it's extremely comfortable and it's really pretty. So this is pretty much the look. Let's see if I can zoom this out a bit. I think it's really pretty. I really do. I'm gonna put some liner and some mascara on. Do I want to put falsies? Maybe. I try to not put any falsies like during vacation to like use less falsies, but it's been a while. Maybe I deserve some falsies. Hmm. Let me fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is the finished look. I have to say I really like this, although I feel my lash. I feel it. One sec. Uh, I think that's better. This is the Gorgeous Lash by Makeup Store. Uh, they are on their last verse, that's how we say it in Sweden. Uh, they're probably not gonna last me that much longer, but they are really pretty and I was kind of wanting something more dramatic since I've been doing a bit of a blue smoky eye with like a brown smoky crease, like a brown black smoky crease. I will say, this is beautiful i love the shadows the white one the white pinky shift is a bit hard to pick up i'm gonna have to play a bit with that one i might have used the, the wrong brush all the shadows were beautiful they work really nice the black is a bit patchy but on the other hand most blacks are i could have done this look with the 
a Kaleidos Cosmetics Deep Sea Luster Palette. I, I could have, I, I know I could have. It actually looks a bit like the look I did with that palette. So that's pretty exciting to know that, because I couldn't, like, I hadn't tried. Now I've tried both the Pat McGrath and the mm, Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Why do I feel like I have a hair here? <laughs> so I know what I'm like, I know what I'm talking about and I can compare formulas to each other. And I have to say, this is very similar, very similar to uh, the Kaleidos Cosmetics uh, formula, I have to say, very similar, which is a good thing, because the Kaleidos ones is much more affordable. But I really did like it. Thank you so much, Karen, for giving me this beautiful, thoughtful gift. It was so much fun playing with this. It's gonna be so much fun playing more with this as well. Now it's only this yard left that I haven't tried. I like all the things I'm wearing. Let's see if I can get a bit closer and you can see the skin I'm wearing. A, my, my wings are so crazy. Don't look at my wings. <laughs> I'm wearing, wearing a low coverage foundation. I don't have any powder on. And this is what it's looking like. I think it's really pretty. Is there anything else I wanted to say about US? Oh yeah, you know what? US has gone... Like, it's expensive now. I used to remember that everything in US was, like, less, like, less expensive. Like, going to restaurants was less expensive than Sweden. Fast food was less expensive. Food overall, makeup, clothes, like, everything was less expensive. That's not the case anymore. Uh, and I know I was in California, like, half the trip, so that, like, California is probably the most expensive part of um, US, uh, maybe together with, like, New York, but Minneapolis as well. Uh, everything is more expensive than Sweden now and I think that's really interesting to note because I always talk about how expensive Sweden is and I will say that the, not right now the only thing that's less expensive than Sweden right now in US it's clothes and makeup and that's why I probably haven't noticed it because that's the only thing I'd buy like online now when I actually got back to US I could like see with my own eyes like this isn't affordable anymore, like affordable. It's as expensive as Sweden, if not more expensive, which is very interesting because usually like wages in Sweden are higher. So where's the money going? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, it was the most funny part was when we were at Subway, we were at Subway buying just lunch because it was like close by and we were heading out and Subway in US is more expensive than Subway in Sweden. And Subway is an American brand. You think about that for a bit and you start to think about how weird that is. That's weird. That's really weird. But yeah, I think that was everything for this uh, little get ready with me. I hope I wasn't too tired, too jet lagged. If you thought I was boring, please don't let me know. I'm doing my best. I did miss you so much. I did want to film. And I'm gonna film the haul. It was fun. This was fun. And I like the look a lot. A lot. I'm gonna get back to you on what I feel about these items. But right now, I like all of them. I will say though that the wear time of this is not that long but it's very comfortable and beautiful on the lips just the wear time is a bit eh, a bit so-so but yeah that was everything for this video please do subscribe if you want to be i am gonna have another video up tomorrow and i hope to see you then bye